Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Carly and welcome to my YouTube family. So today's video is going to be my top 10 favorite foundations. I've picked out five drugstore foundations and five high-end foundations that are my absolute go-to favorite foundations. There are some that are more on the lighter coverage side and some that are more full coverage, some that are more suitable for an everyday look and some that I would use when I'm going for more of a full glam makeup look. So I wanted to share with you today what my favorite foundations are that I've been using. And I'm going to keep this going as a series. So I'll do concealers, powders, bronzers, blush, eye products, etc. So let me know in the comments down below what you would like to see next in this new series. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel down below so you don't miss out on any new videos. And also hit the notification bell so you know when I have posted a new video. Let's just get straight into it. If you'd like to see my favorite top 10 foundations, then please keep watching. So I'm gonna start with drugstore foundations and I have to say drugstore foundations have definitely gotten a lot better over the last few years. There's just so many brands coming out with amazing formulas, really good coverage and really good finish foundation. So it was really hard for me to pick out my top five. I'm not gonna go in any particular order of favorites because they are all my favorites. The first one I wanna mention is this one here from Maybelline. This is the new Dream Radiant Liquid Hydrating Foundation. This is the newest one to be released from Maybelline and this is the one I've been wearing nonstop at the moment. I've got it on today. This is my everyday wear foundation. It's got beautiful, more of a medium coverage. You could definitely build this up to fuller coverage but I find it just gives the most beautiful, natural, medium coverage to the skin. It covers any redness, any blemishes beautifully and it just looks so beautiful and radiant on the skin as the name suggests. It is more of a radiant, dewy finish foundation which I really like having dry skin. This is a perfect foundation for me to wear every day so I definitely recommend trying this one. Also from Maybelline I have the OG Fit Me Foundation. This one is the dewy and smooth version. I do like the matte and poreless when I do get a little bit more oilier in my t-zone area but this one is the one I tend to use more often because I do have dry skin. This is definitely one of my all-time favorite foundations. I absolutely love it. It is more of a medium coverage but you can definitely wear this full coverage as well. I have worn it on nights out and it lasts so long all night. It just looks beautiful on the skin. It doesn't move. It doesn't come off or oxidize on the skin or anything like that. So this is definitely one of the all-time best foundations from the drugstore in my opinion. If you haven't tried it out, you definitely need to. Next, I have this one here from L'Oreal. This is the Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. This when it launched, literally I wore this non-stop. It was my absolute favorite foundation at the time. I am trying out the new Maybelline one, so I have put this one down, but it is definitely one of my favorite foundations, hands down. I find this one to be a little bit more on the lighter to medium coverage, so if you're wanting that, just more of a natural everyday look, this is definitely a foundation to go for with a slightly lighter coverage. And it is a little bit more of a watery texture. The Maybelline one's a little bit more of a thicker, creamier formula. This one's a little bit of a lighter formula. So if that's what you prefer, I would definitely recommend trying this one. The color range is amazing for both Maybelline and L'Oreal. So you'll definitely be able to find a shade. I remember a time when drugstore foundations, there was like 10 shades to pick from or not even. It was ridiculous. It was so hard to find a shade without mixing some together. Now they have definitely upped their game and there's so many different shades to choose from. So this is definitely one of my all time favorite foundations as well from L'Oreal. This one is a little bit more of a satin finish. It's not matte, but it's not dewy. It's somewhere in between. So if you have more normal skin, this is definitely a good one to try. If you have more dry skin like myself, I just make sure I use a hydrating primer. If you have more oily skin, I would use a mattifying primer before trying out this one. But I think this can be used by anyone with any skin type. Next, I have this one here from Wet n Wild. This is the Photo Focus Foundation. This is such a beautiful, radiant, glowing foundation. It is just so amazing on the skin. I really like this one for taking photos. I just find it gives that extra glow to my skin and I just find it just looks beautiful. It is a little bit more of the lighter to medium coverage once again, but if you're wanting to try a foundation that's really good for photos, this is definitely one to try. It is called a photo focus foundation, so it is designed to be used for photos where there's no flashback, there's no sunscreen in this foundation, so that way it's not going to give you that white cast look. But this is definitely one of my favorite drugstore foundations I've tried as well, and I am going to go back to using this one because I just loved the way it looked. It was a really beautiful, natural looking foundation with that really glowing, radiant look to the skin. The last foundation I have here is from NYX. This is the Can't Stop, Won't Stop Full Coverage Foundation. So this one is fuller coverage and it is a little bit more on the matte side. So I would use this one when I'm going out at night 
when you can tend to get a little bit more sweaty and hot and you're wanting something that's going to last all night long, this is a really good one to use and it is full coverage so it's going to make your skin look really flawless and airbrushed and beautiful. I really like the texture of this one, it's a really nice in between a liquid and a cream, so it's that in between formula, but it just looks beautiful on the skin. I get a lot of compliments on what foundation I'm wearing when I wear this one, so it's definitely one of my favorite drugstore foundations, and I had to mention it in this video. Okay, now moving on to high end foundations. This was really hard for me to narrow it down to my top five because there are so many amazing high end foundations on the market. But I did manage to get to five, so I will show you what my favorite ones are. I'm going to go in order of coverage. So the first one here is more of a sheer to light coverage. This one is from Pat McGrath. This is the Pat McGrath Labs Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation. Now this one is meant to be quite a sheer finish foundation. It's just meant to emphasize your skin and just give it a little bit more color, a little bit more coverage, and just give it that beautiful that glowing lip from within skin look. And I just find this one looks so beautiful. If I'm having a really good skin day, I don't have any blemishes or anything, I can wear this one and it just looks so amazing. You can still see your skin coming through a bit, so it's very, very natural. If you're not someone who likes too much product on their face or too much foundation, this would be perfect for you. So this one is designed to be give you that beautiful supermodel-like skin. When you do makeup on models, they usually have pretty good skin and you only want to cover a little bit. So this is the kind of foundation that would be perfect for that. And if you are also wanting just something very, very lightweight, this would be a really good foundation to try. This one has more of a satin finish, so it's not too dewy, but it's definitely not matte on the skin. So it's somewhere in between, but just looks beautiful and just gives your skin that healthy look to it. Next, I have the Bobbi Brown. This is the Skin Foundation. I absolutely fell in love with this one when I was on a holiday down south here in Perth, Western Australia, and this was just the most beautiful natural foundation. It's a light coverage, and it just made my skin look so beautiful. It's got more of a dewy finish to it, and it just lifted my skin. It just made it look radiant and glowing without too much heavy coverage, and it just was incredible. This is definitely one of my all-time favorite foundations to use if I'm just wanting that tiny little bit of coverage and it just looks absolutely beautiful on the skin. The formula is a really nice, lightweight, watery consistency, so it's not too heavy, and it feels like you've got nothing on your skin, which I really like about this foundation. It's very lightweight, so if you are looking for something like that, this is definitely the one to try. Next, I have this one from Fenty Beauty. This is the Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation. This one is more of a medium coverage, definitely buildable to full coverage though, and it is a hydrating foundation, so it makes your skin look beautiful and glowy and healthy, and I just love this foundation if I'm wanting a little bit more coverage. It is a little bit more of a creamier formula as well, so you only need to use a little bit to go a long way, and I use this pretty much when I go out at night time if I want that more of a dewy look to my skin. This is my favorite one to use at the moment. I do love the color range. Fenty Beauty is known for having one of the best color ranges for foundations. So if you find it hard to find a color, definitely try out Fenty Beauty because you will no doubt be able to find a shade in their range. Next, I have the foundation here from NARS. This is the Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. This is a medium to fuller coverage foundation. This one is so incredibly beautiful. It is radiant looking on the skin. It's a little bit more of a satin finish on my skin. It's not too dewy and it's definitely not matte either. So it just covers amazing on your skin. It just looks beautiful, gives you that radiant glow that you like to your skin. And this one, the color range from NARS is amazing as well. This one matches my tan perfectly. And I just find I get so many compliments when I wear this foundation as well. It just evens out your skin tone, covers up blemishes beautifully, and it just looks amazing on the skin. Almost like you've been airbrushed, so this is definitely a beautiful foundation to try. And lastly, I have this one from Hourglass. This is the Vanish Seamless Liquid Finish Foundation. This one is more full coverage, so if you are looking for a fuller coverage foundation, definitely worth trying out this one here. It does have more of a satin finish to it, so it is a little bit more on the matte side than a Julia foundation, but it does look beautiful on the skin. If I'm having a little bit of oiliness through my T-zone and I'm wanting a fuller coverage look, this is the foundation I go for. I really love the stick version of the Hourglass Vanish Foundation, so I definitely wanted to try the liquid, and I fell in love with this one when I tried it. It is definitely a really good coverage foundation. Just makes my skin look flawless and airbrushed and beautiful as well. So definitely worth trying this one out if you are wanting a full coverage foundation. So those were all of my favorite top 10 foundations. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below if you're not already. Don't forget to let me know in the comments what you would like to see next in this series. If you want me to share my top favorite concealers, powders, or some eye products, lip products, let me know what you would like to see first down in the comments and I will definitely film those videos for you. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.